Well, this question is tricky for me because I don't like definition. The sustainability for me is hard to define in sort of a traditional definition. Sustainability means uh, trying to live gently. A society that lives and thrives and progresses without harming nature or uh, people. It goes beyond this basic idea that the Earth is able to assimilate our impacts on it environmentally neutral and socially positive and in the best world we're also being environmentally positive. Limiting our impact on the planet as much as possible. Basically we have to get to a place where we're meeting everybody's needs and we're not compromising the needs of future generations. I think the biggest challenge is that we don't have a common language. Dialogue. Mindsets. Population. You need to understand the system. Um, environmentally, the biggest one is certainly climate change and global warming caused by human use of fossil fuels and, and other human activities. Awareness and understanding are the, are the big challenges that we face. Our consumption rates, problems with the basis of our society, like the way our economic system is run. Making great solutions more cost effective. That there's also huge social challenges that we need to overcome, particularly in the area of education, um, which to me links to poverty. The erosion of trust in societies. We will do the right thing if we know what the right thing is, and it's fairly easy for us to do the right thing. So knowing what the problem is, is half of the solution. Really, in my opinion, it's difficult to prescribe uh, activities for any particular lo location because it's going to vary so much by the culture and the challenges faced by the people and environment in that area. Every solution in any region could be different. Uh, I think education is a great place to start locally. Engaging with decision makers at however you can. Bringing people together in collaboration, and that includes the government and citizens. Everyone needs to be a part of the solution. Every action is a political action. If everyone takes care of their own backyard, then all the backyards are okay in the world. You have to have some basis for understanding scientifically what is going on in our world. Seek inspiration from, from the globe, and then whatever is appropriate to your place, the sustainability challenges in your place, seek solutions for that listening to what you are really good at doing and what you're really passionate about doing and going and doing those things. Sometimes I think it's really important that we get out there and speak to uh, either industry or schools, uh, young people who are excited about these issues and want to, want to do the right thing. And if you're living your life in a way where you're working towards sustainability just through your lifestyle. Good, practical, local leadership. I think leadership is about um, bringing people around a common goal and enabling them to be successful. It's changing a lot in my mind because it used to mean you know, a leader, a big leader, or something like that. Someone who has a, a vision that they believe in and that they, they, they act upon. It involves people that are driven by a purpose and this vision. Oh, but giving people the tools or the belief or the inspiration that they need to, to achieve great things. People able to complement and recognize other good ideas and good actions that other people are taking. Leadership for me is a lot about service. If you know the truth, you have to act by the truth. And inspire confidence and trust in the people around them. Here they have to inspire actions, but they also have to allow all ideas to flourish and it usually comes around a vision. And sustainability is a great vision that we can, um, that we can all get around once we understand it and understand the importance of it. Um, and once we have that vision, I think it's just about enabling people, giving them the tools 
and the energy and the excitement to, to achieve great things.